Hey, welcome back. Uh, my wife's from Maine, and uh, she recently returned from uh, Maine. Uh, she was up there with her mother, um, but she picked me up. This is how much my wife loves me. She picked me up three bottles of bourbon while she were, was there, ones that I can't get around here. So uh, always on the hunt for another bourbon. But she bought a Tidewalker, which is a straight bourbon whiskey from the coast of Maine. That's the one we're going to try today. Uh, a Koval and a Stark. Uh, we'll get into the other two later. I also picked up a couple of my own. I have a lot of new bourbon. Uh, I'm filling up my shelves here. I actually have ordered two cabinets to go down here that's going to continue uh, to expand. I still, I, I, because my other shelf, my private shelf over there. I've been storing bourbons over there as well. I'm just running out of room. I need more bourbon space. But let's get to reviewing right after this. All right, we have Tidewalker. Uh, it's got a little uh, due north symbol on there, straight bourbon whiskey. It says from the coast of Maine, uh, 43 degrees north, 70 degrees west, alcohol by volume 44%, 88 proof, just below the 90, but that's okay. Uh, this is Tidewalker, New England Distilling.com, distilled and bottled by New England Distilling LLC, Portland, Maine. This is a 750 milliliter bottle, batch number 29. The whiskey has been aged for two years, of course, in new American oak barrels uh, and has not been chill filtered. Oh, and for anyone who wants to know, there is a 15% uh, a 15 cent deposit on this bottle. So, uh, and then there's a government surgeon general warning. We're not gonna get into that, but let's pop the top. Nice little uh, wooden top on the cork here. Good seal, pretty good nose on that. And again, I only bring you what I know from the bottle. If they don't put it on the bottle, it's not important, right? So we'll figure out what we can discern from this. All right, so I've been pretty excited about this one. Uh, let's represent some main. Let's get a swirl. Good dark uh, amber color uh, on this for two years in the barrel. Now, you know, uh, I'm trusting they followed the law, so no color can be added uh, to bourbon and still call it a bourbon. Uh, so two year age, new American oak barrels. It must have had a good char on that thing because that is a pretty dark amber. And I know charring doesn't always, I hope they didn't try to pressure age this. We'll see. Kind of a punchy little nose on it, but uh, I'm picking up some caramel and vanilla out of that. Probably some apples, uh, some other uh, pear, other fruit. But there's a, a subtle spice kick to there. I don't know the mash bill on this at all. Ooh, there's a little, uh, yeah, there, there's a little spice kick to this. Uh, so I would definitely say this is not a wheater, mm. but we know it's at least 51% corn or more in the mash. But this color is really getting me uh, I have some much lighter bourbons than this. Um, so for two years. Okay, let's give her a, a first sip. Okay, the legs, it's, it's, the droplets are coming down pretty quick. Uh, no, probably not the oily, oiliest bourbon. It coated okay. There is a young note going across the middle of the tongue. Um, I can tell you that, but there's something. It, it doesn't say 
it was aged in any other barrels. I'm getting something else in there that is taking my mind away from bourbon just a little bit, but it doesn't say it was finished in anything. So there's a pruny flavor uh, across the middle of the tongue. A mola not molasses, it's, it's not like that. It's, it's dark like that, but it's, it's a different uh, fruit note. Yeah, huh, kind of, kind of strange. Uh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, it just says established 2011 white W-I-G-H-T inspired Maine, USA. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what types of maybe malted barley or, or other grains they may have used, but I am picking up a subtle rye in there, but there's another caramelly note that is dipping pretty dark. I'm not getting any tannins out of it, so I wouldn't say they, they tried to beat nature and pressure age this. The finish it's there, but it, it, it doesn't linger. Um, it it uh, goes away pretty quick. It hits uh, pretty pretty good down here. I'm not getting much of a, a hug off this thing at all. Uh, hardly any warmth. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a pleasant flavor across the center of the tongue. Not getting a lot of oak on the sides. Since it's not really flooding the tongue with a lot of oils, I did force that around that time. Um, getting not a lot on the outside. It, I wouldn't say uh, th th this is a it's a decent bourbon. Uh, put it that way. Uh, good caramel notes in it, but there's this uh, darker fruit note in there that's not. Um, yeah, I, I can't really put my finger on it plum but more prune flavor hmm if I had to uh, express it in, in one way so, some of the, the spice notes I'm getting off of it I'm getting a little kick it doesn't taste like peppermint but you know how you you get that nasal kick off of peppermint I'm getting a little nasal kick off of this, uh, just subtle. It's, oh, this reminds me of a little bit of licorice. That's what it's, that's what that dark note is. Um, yeah, let me, let me think licorice and take another sip. Yep. Not, not bad, not bad. Uh, you know, some people don't like licorice. I, I, I kind of enjoy uh, star anise and, 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 and different uh, things to cooking, you know, and it brings out that licorice type flavor. Um, but it's very subtle. Uh, I know it stays cold in Maine a lot. I, I would consider this a good uh, winter sipper and it's, it's still winter here, so. Yeah, it's reminding me a little bit of a spiced rum, you know, with some of the spices I'm getting, but it doesn't have that butter rum flavor. Um, but yeah, that, that little hint of that little licorice kick is lingering. And I'm, I'm glad I could pinpoint that for you because it was bugging me there for a little bit. Uh, but there is a darker fruit note in there as well, going along with that little licorice kick. I know that Maine has a drink in New England area called Moxie, uh, and I like it too. And it's a, a cola. And it has a licorice kick to it. Uh, and I, I think this is 
fantastic, actually. For, uh, I, and I don't know what my wife paid for it. I, I don't know. She didn't bring me the receipt back. Uh, so I don't know what they pay for this in Maine. But hey, you, you guys up in Maine, cheers. Uh, you have a decent little uh, uh, day sipper here. Mmm. So guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up as always. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications. And I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.